Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an exciting yet challenging aspect of the Philippine Army's modernization efforts, the acquisition of a self-propelled anti-air gun system, SPAG. This project is a vital component of the AFP's overarching air defense strategy, designed to bolster the nation's layered defense capabilities. The armed forces of the Philippines has been steadily enhancing its air defense systems. The Philippine Air Force led the charge with the Spider Air Defense System from Rafael Defense, an advanced, missile-based solution. However, the Philippine Army is taking a different approach by exploring gun-based systems under Horizon 3 of the AFP Modernization Program. SPAG systems provide a last layer of defense, capable of engaging a wide variety of aerial threats, such as helicopters, attack aircraft, cruise missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and glide bombs. Equipping M113S with remote-controlled weapon stations, RCWS, and transforming M113S into mortar carriers. 5mm autocannons will likely require reinforced suspension systems to handle the added weight and recoil. Advanced integration to ensure system stability and effectiveness. If the Army secures additional APCs through procurement or allied donations, many could be converted into specialized vehicles, including SPAGs. Several factors influence the Philippine Army's choice of SPAG system. First, caliber of guns. Larger calibers like 25 to 35 mm autocannons provide better range and impact, but come with complex ammunition sourcing. Smaller calibers like 12.7 mm, 0 0.50 caliber, are more accessible, but offer limited range and capability. A likely choice is the 35 mm caliber, given its effectiveness and potential commonality with the Navy's A. Selsen Goktanese gun systems. Second, missile integration. Modern SPAG systems often combine gun-based systems with short-range air defense missiles, SHORAD. Examples include South Korea's K-30 Biho, featuring twin 30mm autocannons and KP Chiron missiles. Turkey's Korkut, which may be upgraded to include SHORAD missiles like the Stinger. This dual-layer capability allows SBAGs to address diverse threats effectively. Third, logistics and commonality. Sharing ammunition and spare parts with other AFP assets simplifies maintenance and reduces costs. For instance, a unified 35mm ammunition supply benefits both the Navy and Army. Fourth, transportability. The Army prefers systems that are transportable by sea the 130 Hercules aircraft or similar platforms, ensuring flexibility in deployment. Lightweight options like the Boeing Avenger, based on the Humvee platform, offer significant mobility advantages. Despite its strategic value, the SPAG project has not been prioritized in the Philippine Army's Horizon 3 acquisition list. Instead, the focus is on more cost-effective solutions like short-range air defense Shorad, systems and man-portable air defense systems manpads. This prioritization is likely due to budget constraints and the high cost of SPAG systems. Nevertheless, SPAGs remain on the modernization roadmap, albeit as a lower priority item. Their inclusion ensures the Army maintains flexibility for future procurement, potentially bundling manpads, shorad, and gun systems into a single armored, self-propelled package. Having SPAG systems in the AFP's arsenal would provide an added layer of air defense, complementing missile-based systems like the Spider, a versatile weapon capable of addressing both aerial and ground threats, Enhance protection. Let us know your thoughts on the SPAEG project in the comments below. Until next time, stay informed and stay vigilant.